So, uh, depending on how much you like me, you're either going to be uh, dismayed, overjoyed, or indifferent to find out that uh, title's not clickbait. Uh, I'm leaking water. Seawater from below the waterline, obviously, um, into my boat. And it's not near a seacock, it's on the port side. There's no, uh, no seacocks or anything over there. <clears throat> so... I suppose I'll just let you look, shall I? It's not going to sink the boat. It's, it's a little bit of seawater. Um, this isn't one of them, wait till the end to find out if I die. Because um, we all know that's going to happen this time I go sailing. Um, yeah. So have a look. All right. Um, so it is coming through on camera, I think. You can see that that edge of the um, floor thing is damp. <clears throat> now... I always assumed I sleep on this. Just ignore it. I'll come to that in a minute. Um, it was just condensation. You know what I mean? From underneath the what's it going down, coming out. Because um, I used to get a damp batch there when I was on the hard as well. So anyway, but I tasted it and it's salt water. So I went digging, and uh, I found that the inside of here, you can see that I've tanked it temporarily just to stop the wood getting wrong. So here is my bilge pump. Uh, so I thought, oh, bilge pump is just, so obviously when the pipe goes out, it's going uphill. Any water that's left in can come down, seep out, just go down there, no problem. Um, so yeah, it was seawater on the inside. And then this stringer along here was also wet and inside this cord was wet. So, this is going to sound gruesome if you don't have a boat, but I tasted that water in there and that was fresh. And if you look along the bottom edge of this cupboard, you can see stains from water damage. So this has been happening for quite a while, but I think that might be off uh, condensation because all along this stringer was wet and that was all salt water. And in this area here, there was actually some mud. You know how the boat dries out. Um, so there was silt there, which is even worse because water's tiny, it can get in places, but silt comparatively is chunky. So if silt can get through, it's uh, it's considerable, it's a considerable haul. Um, so this absolute mess that I've made, I've used the black rubber paint that I used in the anchor locker to seal this bottom corner and then I can monitor the amount of water that goes in it in 24 hours. This stringer is a structural part of the boat. So these are all glassed in, so they become part of the structure and strength. This is quite a long area with no bulkhead or anything until you get back there. So the stringer gives it some structural rigidity across there uh, and near the waterline. So the issue I've got is this was all drilled with holes and all the little tiny holes were wet salt water. So what I've done is, I know it's a mess. I know it's an absolute mess. I'm sorry. I've painted it in the rubber paint just to see if the holes push the paint out and water seeps out of them before the paint dries. Because if it does, then I know that the leak is behind the stringer. And that's a problem. Um... Yeah, let's turn the camera back around, then I can talk about it. <sighs> yeah, that's the problem, because I can't take that stringer out in the water. On the off chance that that stringer is what's holding back the flood. Um, if there is like a big enough hole back there, that if I took the stringer out in the waterline, under the waterline, loads of water are coming. I can't realistically do that. Um, so, I can't get lifted out. I've got two weeks to leave this dock before I have to start paying for it. Um, so I'm screwed, really. Oh, why is it an issue? It's not going to sink the boat, obviously, is it? It's a tiny little bit of dampness, so that's not the issue. What the issue is, is that if that's been happening over a number of years, um, which it might well have been, um, the wood in that stringer could be completely rotten uh, and obviously it's structural 
I don't think it would be. I don't think it would snap the boat in half. I don't think it's anything that dramatic, but it's still not great, is it, to have rotten wood? So yeah, I realistically, I could do with taking the stringer off. Um, so to do it here would mean getting lifted back out, spending however long getting it out, drying it, um, rebending new timber for it. Um, so yeah, I'm boned. Um, Basically, I haven't really updated you on the other situation, have I? Do I update you on that now? Let's update you on that now. Uh, I'm not going back up to Fleetwood, not yet. Um, I can't afford to get lifted out there, quite frankly. Um, I'll pay the visitor rates. So, I'm going to leave here, hopefully, before this berth runs out on the th last day of March. And then I'm going to go to the Isle of Wight and find anchorages around there, depending on weather. And hang around around there until I can make some more videos, pump some more videos out and try and uh, earn some money, earn enough money to go back up north. Uh, I may even go over to the Channel Islands as well. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that. So the plan is basically leave it. Uh, I'm going to paint the entire locker in that black paint. I know, it's a terrible colour for lockers because you can't see what's in it. But, that's the paint I've got, so that's what colour is for you. Um, and then I'm going to do the inside of these cupboards once I've dried them out and stuff. Uh, I've had a heat gun on them, trying to dry them out. Uh, so yeah, I'm leaking. Um, it's not going to kill me, I hope. What do you do? She's 55. Oh, I don't know what's caused it. That's what I was going to say. Um, obviously, the boat's been on this berth for a number of years and berthed up port two. So that's where the fenders and stuff are. So I don't know if it's been... You get quite a bit of swell. I don't know if you can tell now, actually. Oh, you can't because the tide's going out. Um, you get quite a lot of swell and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's bashed into the uh, pontoon and cracked it slightly or... With it drying out of the berth, or um, I don't know if it's the osmosis, if one bubble's got particularly bad and, and managed to create um, a hole through the hole. I don't know. So, yeah, got a holy boat on a holy boat. Just thought I'd let you know. What can you do, eh? Not bloody much. Um, see you later or something. I'm back. I just quickly realised something. So, I was just looking. You can see the staining along there is just staining the ends. And as you get to here, you can see a white tide mark across the top, which is the salt as it's evaporated, as the water's evaporated and left the salt behind. Therefore... The culprit must be over there in a position above this stringer in which that could get wet and wick up seawater or actually be in there. So I've narrowed it down a bit. Still probably won't be doing out about it yet, but you know, the more you know.